Hi there, my name is Payam from Payam Data Recovery and today I'd like to ask a question for you. If you have an SSD in your computer and it died, what, what do you think about data recovery in SSDs? The reason I ask is every now and again I meet a computer professional or a, a owner of an IT business and they often have a belief that SSDs can't be fixed and the data can't be recovered. And often um, one, one thing that kind of uh, confused me a little bit is when SSDs became very popular in laptops and in hard drive sales started declining a few years ago, um, a few IT professionals sort of told me, oh, you know, you're gonna be out of business soon, no one's gonna be having hard drive problems. It's quite the opposite. Um, we get SSDs all day, every day, and they do fail. And the good news is they can be recovered most of the time. There are some rare exceptions where data can't be recovered, but at least 90% of the time, we can recover the data from SSDs. So I wanted to give you a few examples of three SSDs that we received this morning in our office here in Sydney. Uh, these just came in the last hour, so this you know, we get a high volume, at least 20 SSDs um, yeah, every week coming into our office, um, and we're just one data recovery company. So um, this is one example from a customer we got in just now. Um, so for privacy reasons, I don't want to show you the customer's details, um, but this is like a MacBook SSD, 256 um, gigabyte. Now this one, the customer said that uh, had no liquid spill, and no power surge, it was working and then it just died. Um, this happens quite a lot. Uh, it's generally due to malfunctioning components, um, due to old age. We find a lot of SSDs start failing roughly around three or four years old, um, sometimes older um, if you don't use it much. Now the good news is um, that's a pretty common problem. 90% of the time we'll recover the data either by uh, fault finding the circuit board and looking for tiny little components on here. They're really small, it's very similar to mobile phone repair. We'll basically find usually three or four components have failed. We'll replace them with um, working parts from a similar SSD that works and then the SSD just works so we get all your data back 100%. Um, and that happens most of the time. Um, next example is we've got a, oh, what's this one here? It doesn't have a brand on there, but I'm pretty sure it says Intel, yep, intel.com. So this is an Intel SSD. Um, the customer described that the computer showed a black screen, they ran some diagnostic software and the computer shop uh, they purchased the laptop from had a look and they said that they couldn't actually get detected. Um, the good news is, um, you know, some SSDs have firmware problems. Um, Intel is one of them. We see some Intel SSDs that have firmware malfunctions. Uh, we use some tools like PC3000 SSD and DeepSpar SSD we can put the SSD in a special, um, I guess what I would refer to as a slow reading mode. It's a, it's a different access method where you, the SSD will actually become detected where it doesn't with an adapter or a normal computer and we can get your data back. Um, now, most of the time when we find the, the bigger SSDs, like this one is a new one that we got in today, it's a Toshiba SSD. Um, they get too many of these, it's a 240 gig SSD with a SATA connector. Um, the customer said that they have one partition they can see, but they can't see the other partition. Um, they said that they tried some software themselves and they couldn't recover the data after some financial records. Now, the good news is SSDs have logical or software issues also. Um, so it could just be some bad sectors, um, a partition or file system corruption. We run some professional data recovery software, knowing which one to use or what options to, to do. And usually we can get all the data back. So if you have an SSD, it's important to remember to, to set up some automatic backup for yourself and don't assume they can't fail. A lot of people also believe they're, they're, they're much better than hard drives, they'll never die. Um, that's quite the opposite. They actually are almost guaranteed to die. It's just a matter of time. Um, it may take 10 years or 15 years according to the manufacturers, um, but often we find that people use their computer very often, all day, every day. Their SSD lasts four or five years and then it just fails with no warning at all. Um, so if you have an SSD, back it up. If you know somebody who's got one that failed, um, send it to us. We offer a free assessment and quote, and usually we can get your data back. Thanks.